Today we got a telegram from Liam in Cranston, Rhode Island. He writes, Dear Bob, I'm such a huge fan. Of what? Catching small stripers, obviously, since you're writing me. <laughs> anyway, Liam says my dad taught me to put a few drops of shedded crab oil on my baits at a young age. But after watching your movie, I'm thinking about switching to anise extract. What's the proper amount of anise to put on a bunker chunk? First of all, your father was obviously a high-level mook. And I remember one time back in 87, this group of assholes from the Hamptons showed up smack dab in the middle of this tall Mike fundraiser blitz. And they squeeze in between me and trick shot Bert and they're slathering this crab shit all over the rubber perch. And that shit smelled disgusting. That shit smelled worse than Chinese Dave's spicy sea robin assholes, if you could believe that. So Bert gives me the look and he sh I shoot the look down to Artie I look at Stan the bookkeeper, and we all know what's about to happen. Next thing you know, Bert hits the first guy square in the head with a 20 ounce pyramid saker, and boom, down he goes. Well, of course, the rest of them run away, just like everybody else from the Hamptons when they sense the slightest danger. Luckily that day, we was fishing with Keith the cop and Jerry the cop, so when Stevie the cop who was on duty and couldn't get to the Blitz for a few more hours showed up, we knew there wasn't gonna be a problem. He just drugged a kid that Bert dropped up the beach and threw him in the back of his squad car until he came to. <laughs> Somewhere there's a picture of Frank the Scalper sitting on the kid's back while he's still comatose, halting two low 50s. <laughs> anyway, two, three drops of anise is really all you need.